Let's take a look at a Logbook of the World account via the ARRL LOTW website. This video is not a tutorial on how to get set up with Logbook of the World, but rather just a look at what you'll get when you access the Logbook of the World homepage. This is a secured site, so you need a username and password. In this case, my call sign WX0V. The password is hidden, of course. So we'll click Log On and take a look. Once you've landed on the home page, you'll see quite a bit of information here. Notably, in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to have the date, your call sign, and it'll let you know a brief summary of your history with Logbook of the World. Over here on the left-hand side, some information about LOTW, which you can click on. There's news and notes over here on the left-hand side, which will give you details and updates on Logbook of the World and the TQSL software. In the center of the page, you're going to see TQSL status, lets you know what the most recent version is, and gives you the opportunity to download it with a link. It gives you some statistics on Logbook of the World itself, as far as how many QSOs it has handled. And you can see there's over a billion, a billion six hundred and fifty three million QSOs. Just incredible. And you also get to see the latest triple play worked all states award winners. I was on this list in 2010, so it's, it's a long time ago. Now you also see a menu bar here towards the upper right, upper center and upper right. Now we're already on home. I'm going to focus on your QSOs, awards and find call. Upload file is only if, I'll take a quick look at it, but that's only if you don't have software which will automatically do this for you, and I do and most do. So I'm going to ignore upload file. Your account has some of your personal data, I'm not going to access that, and of course help is self-explanatory. So let's go to your QSOs and take a look at what this has to offer. Before I get into the meat of the QSO page, which is in the center, let's look at the left-hand column. We can go into Download Report and it will generate an ADIF format file which you can download. We can go into Statistics which basically tell you the same information that's in the upper right hand corner here, but also tells you your oldest entry of QSO data and the most newest entry of QSO data. But let's go back to Query because this is what I use the most. These two boxes here, most recent QSLs and most recent QSOs, by far that's what I use the most here. You can go into Recent QSOs, and it'll show you the most recent upload you've done to Logbook of the World, a list of all those QSOs. Some of these have actually already confirmed with a QSL. Now, the data here gives the call sign, which is your call sign, WX0V in this case, the station you worked, the date and time, the band, the mode, the frequency, and whether or not there was a match on Logbook of the World from the other station that you worked. Now you have details over here. Let's click on this VP5DK6AS contact I had. And this will give you all the data that you've uploaded to Logbook of the World. Going back to that page and going back to recent QSOs, we also see here on the right hand side this highlighted blue text. And this lets you know that you have a match in an actual QSL with that contact. In this case, Monaco, 3 Alpha 2 Mike Whiskey who I worked on 12 meters this morning. If you click on that, because it is a link, it'll show you the QSL data here, indicating that this contact was confirmed, meaning that I uploaded data to Logbook of the World that said I worked 3 Alpha 2 Mike Whiskey. 3 Alpha 2 Mike Whiskey uploaded information that said he worked WX0V. And this is your actual electronic QSL. Now you notice on the Your QSO page, as we go back to it, and most recent QSOs, some of these don't have that. And that's simply because, for example, here's 3 Yankee 0 Juliet. They haven't uploaded anything to Logbook of the World yet, or they haven't uploaded my information as far as the QSO that I claim to have with that operation. But as you can see, there's quite a few that have uploaded. Now let's go back to the Query section. And you can see most recent QSLs. And this will give you a list of all the most recent contacts that have uploaded to Logbook of the World and confirm the contact. Moving on, you can also search for any contacts you've made with somebody. Let's type in 3 Alpha 2 Mike Whiskey since we just checked him out. We can type his call sign in and hit Submit over here in this box over here on the right-hand side. And what this will do is just search 
for 3 alpha 2 mic whiskey. And you can see I've worked them on 12, 15, and 17. You can also do starting dates, ending dates. You can search by DXCC entity. Let's say I want to see anything I've worked with Armenia, and I can hit enter there, and it shows that I do not, oh, I have to clear 3 alpha 2 mic whiskey out of there first. Hit submit, and it'll show that I've worked Armenia twice on 10 and 15 meters. So you can search by various things here. And I'm not going to cover it all because it's pretty much self-explanatory. I am an awards chaser, and Law Book of the World is very advantageous for someone like me. So let's take a look at that page. In the center, there's some information about different awards that the AWRL LOTW program supports. But more importantly, on the left-hand side here, we're going to see the different awards set up for your account. Now, there's multiple awards listed here, but the only two I'm going to cover are DXCC and Worked All States, since they're the most popular. And the format of the other awards are very similar, if not the same, as the two I'm going to show you. If you have more than one call sign, such as a portable call, this drop-down menu will allow you to select which call you want to use as far as looking at your DXCC or award status. I just have the one, so we'll click on Select DXCC Award Account, and we'll take a look at the account status page for my DXCC totals. Before I get into the account status, I want to talk about the Award Account menu over here on the left-hand side. This is for the applications you have done when you've taken your LOTW QSLs and applied them to awards, such as DXCC. It's beyond the scope of this particular video to go into these, so let's get over to account status here. We see these multiple columns here. We see DXCC Award, we see New Logbook of the World QSLs, LOTW, LOTW QSLs in process, DXCC credits awarded, total, all and total current. There's some confusion over these columns. I hear it on the air occasionally, so let's talk about what each one really means. The first column is the DXCC award, and you can see the different types of DXCC awards that are available. Now, if there's a star next to it, it means that the award has been issued. So, for example, I have mixed here, but I don't have CW or phone. The next column over is the new logbook of the world QSLs. Now, these are available QSLs that you can apply to your DXCC award. And since this is a linked text here, you can click on that and it'll actually show you what available QSLs are there for you to apply towards your DXCC award. Now this is Superstar, Thierry, FT8WW. What a great operation that was from Crozet Island. So this particular QSL can be applied towards my mixed award. And you can pick which award you want to look at, and you can also arrange it by all credits, all DXCC entities, name and prefix. You can play around with that when you access your Logbook of the World account. The next column is Logbook of the World QSLs in process. So if you make an application, which we saw over here, that one will slide over here to this. Here's where the confusion might kick in for some. You have DXCC credits awarded, total all, and total current. Now DXCC credits awarded exactly what that means. I have 327 mixed DXCC credits that have been awarded to my account. So 327 DXCC. The next column is total all, and what that means is it adds this number, the pending credits or the available credits that you haven't applied, you add it to this number that have already been awarded, and you get this total, which is 328. However, I have two deleted entities, so you have a total current in which case my score is 326 because there's two deleted. So that's how these are counted and it goes right on down the line here. So for example on 160 I have 167 awarded. I have two pending or two that are available for me. Let's see I think that's Jersey and Congo. So that would bring my total to 169 and that's the total currently available because I have no deleted entities on 160 meters. Time to touch base on paper QSL cards which have been successfully applied to an ARRL award and how those reflect in Logbook of the World. 
The first thing I want to note is that the paper QSL application process is a completely different road than the Logbook of the World electronic QSL application process. Two different roads that lead to the same place. Any paper QSLs that have been properly and officially credited to your award will reflect in your Logbook of the World totals. For example, let's say I have this 328 mix I have here. 20 of those were from paper QSL cards. Those show in this total. If you would like more detail on any of these awards, that's easy to find. Let's take a look at my challenge numbers. I have 2,537 total, 2,513 awarded, with 24 that are available that are pending. So click on the link, and the first thing you're going to see are these pending credits. And notice that the font here is not in bold. You see these couple for FT8WW in 20 meters and 30 meters. The bands, of course, are on the top of the columns there. If I want to see all of my credits, I just select all credits and then select DXCC award to view. And notice that all of them pop up now, including both the awarded ones, which are in bold, such as KH8PPG on 40 meters, and those that have not been awarded, such as K8H on 80 meters. So that'll give you a good overview of your awards and who gave you what. Now, as a quick aside, can you imagine, without Logbook of the World, paying three to four dollars for each one of these paper QSLs? That's a lot of money. Thus, a huge advantage of Logbook of the World. Yes, it does cost you when you apply these towards your DXCC award, but it's hardly any money at all compared to the four or five dollars it would cost to get this QSL card from these various entities. So Logbook of the World for awards chasers is outstanding. Worked all states is the same as DXCC. You have a drop down box for your multiple calls. You can create a new Worked all states award account. You can't do that with DXCC, but you can have different call signs as you see with the drop down box. I just have the one, so we'll select Work All States Award, and it pops up here. We have a similar situation with an award account menu here on the left-hand side, just like you do with DXCC. And your Worked All States totals are here. I have Worked All States on 10 bands, as you can see, so everything's been awarded, so there's nothing pending. And you can click this, and you'll see that there's nothing there that shows up, but you can see all credits and hit Worked All States award to view and you can see the different call signs you work to get worked all states on that particular band which in this case was 15 meters. We're on the home screen to show you the final section of logbook of the world that I use the most and that's find call. So let's click on that and that opens up a text box that you can type in a call sign to find out the last time that that call sign uploaded to logbook of the world. Now I worked 3 alpha 2 Mike Whiskey this morning so let's type his call sign in. 3 alpha 2 MW and I just hit my enter key and it shows that the last time that 3 alpha 2 Mike Whiskey uploaded to Logbook of the World was February 8th 2023 at 2134 Zulu. Now that is not the time of their last QSO. You can't actually access their QSO data. All you can access is a station's call sign in the last time they uploaded to Logbook of the World. Let's type my own call sign in there. WX0VI uploaded on February 9th, which was earlier this evening at 0230Z. Again, finding QSO data from another station is not permitted on Logbook of the World. You can look at your own, and you can look at when a station uploaded to Logbook of the World, but you cannot look at their actual logbook on this system. There's more to the ARRL Logbook of the World page than I'm showing you here, but hopefully this gave you a good dose of the meat and potatoes of the system. Thank you very much for watching in 73 from Whiskey X-Ray, Zero Victoria.